We managed to get an exclusive early hands-on with a build of One UI 4.0 beta with Android 12 on the Samsung Galaxy S21. The upcoming One UI 4.0 beta should be available for the S21 models via registration through the Samsung members app. The time of availability will be in the description once we have more details, but overall, this is a great sign from Samsung giving major OS version updates to their devices in a timely manner. Although some changes to One UI 4.0 beta are major, minor, and in between, comparing it to One UI 3.1 with Android 11 running on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra we have here, we managed to find 18 new things that One UI 4.0 beta brings. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy exclusive and new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on Sam Mobile. Here is our breakdown of what is new with this beta build of One UI 4.0. The general consensus to One UI 4.0 follows the principle of more control to the user, especially with privacy, general UI and UX changes for a cleaner, more streamlined look, smoother overall performance when using your device, and more features enabled on a system level, even if apps may not support it. Do note that this is still a beta build, so some features might not work properly until the official One UI 4.0 OTA release later this year. With that, let's dive straight in and see what's new. Under the advanced features in settings, you will see there is a new addition of labs, which allows you to enable and toggle multi window for all apps. This borrows from Goodlock, which now allows for pop-up view or split screen for all apps, including apps that usually do not support this feature like Instagram. This feature is still a bit buggy from time to time. So in this early build, but overall a good sign of things to come with this one. In terms of the overall UI performance and smoothness, early testing looks to be slightly smoother when comparing the usage side by side. Experiencing this on a standalone without comparison might be hard to tell, but overall, this is a good sign for better hardware optimization and longer term performance overall. When pressing and holding down on the home screen to bring up options for wallpapers, themes, widgets, and settings, the icons are more transparent than a solid white for a more cleaner look. The view for the widgets menu has now changed to be more stacked and grouped with a vertical view following Android 12, making it easier to see how many widgets each app has in a vertical scroll view. There is a new clock Easter egg for Android 12. Turning both the clock hands to 12 o'clock will show the new Android 12 Easter egg in all its full glory. There is now a new charging animation when you plug your phone into the charger with a thicker circular animation and a lightning icon as well. There was now more control over privacy settings on a system level for all apps, giving the user more control and visibility of what apps are doing with the camera, mic location, and clipboard access. There is now a permission usage history section that shows you a timeline history in the last 24 hours or seven days of each app that has used your location, camera, and microphone. There is also new controls and alert section under privacy, which now has toggles for camera access, mic access, and show clipboard access for all apps in one go. Following the Android 12 privacy controls, when using an app that accesses your mic or camera, you will have a green circle at the top right to let you know when the app is accessing it. You can then scroll down from the top tap the icon and change the permissions accessing your camera and mic from there regarding the app you are using. Under the Google section in privacy, there is a new private compute core section, which allows you to clear data of what your device has learned from your general usage and show keyboard suggestions for smart text suggestions when typing. In the home screen section, there is now a toggle for add media page home screen between Google Discover and Samsung Free, which was not there before. Under the location settings for each app, you can now toggle use precise location on or off for a more approximate use of location for each app you use. There is also a slight change to the look and aesthetics of the location settings as well. Safety and emergency has now been added to the settings menu for inputting your medical information 
emergency contacts and other details for emergencies. There is also a general new look to the device care section as new icons, new font styles, new groupings and animations come with it all around. There's also a slight change to the aesthetics and the looks of the default app sections, but the functions overall still remain the same. When it comes to the camera UI, it sees a very minor change with now using numbers of 0.5, 1x and 3x for the three focal lengths rather than using trees to represent these. The icons at the top of the keyboard for GIFs, emojis, mic access and keyboard settings have changed slightly with a low opacity circle background behind each icon. If you find yourself watching this and have had hands-on access to using One UI 4.0 beta, let us know in the comment section below if you managed to find any new features that we might have missed with this build. Until then, make sure you visit us at sammobile.com for all the latest news in the world of Samsung. For exclusive videos on Sam Mobile TV, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.